Ready to go up? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go up. Yo, what up? This is Fish Scales. I'm uh, one of the original members of Nappy Roots. We've been in the game for over 20 years now, making music. A lot of y'all may know me from Watermelon, Chicken, and Grits with all and all. All the way up to the 40 Acres project we're doing now in Atlanta, new brewery that we just opened in Atlanta. And uh, that's me, Fish Skill, living life, man, Georgia boy. Waiting around, through ups and downs, waiting on something to happen. I just said, Actually, uh, my story, uh, Nappy Roots come from Kentucky. I'm the only member that's not from Kentucky. Well, I'm, I went to Kentucky on a basketball scholarship to play ball at Western Kentucky University. So I went all the way from Milledgeville, Georgia to Bowling Green just to play basketball. And that's where I met Skinny DeVille and uh, as Nappy Roots was being formed and the rest is history. Yeah, so, um my name is William Hughes. They call me Skinny DeVille. One fourth of Nappy Roots. Uh, we ended up, you know, just running across paths throughout, you know, in between smoking, talking about hip hop and whatnot. Um, and we never really rapped at that point in time, um, but everyone kept saying, you know, you gotta hear him rap, he's nice. I'm like, you know, all right, whatever. So we ended up rapping one day on the way to a barbecue and respecting each other's talents, you know, and then we end up hitting country roads all the time. And so we just end up hanging around each other. And then, you know, I, you know, I was on a mission to make this, you know, this super group out of, you know, Kentucky called Nappy Roots. And, you know, he just thought that was, you know, a good idea. And we just started going in that direction together, you know. Champ, toast to, to hell. Well, happy. Happiness. So, um, but as far as people who are involved, we have Boogie, who's been our merch manager for almost 10 years now. She's now our floor manager at Atlantucky. She brought in some really cool people from the neighborhood who are helping us get integrated into this neighborhood, like Westwood P an activist in the neighborhood. But um, me and Skinny, we're here on day to day. Skinny's here early in the morning. We're just living out our dream, man. We started in my garage where we was just making beers and buckets, but we had no idea we would move this fast and be in a building three years later with a full brewery. We want to make this work. We want to be the best brewery on earth. Um, so 2010, 2011, Gales would bring these random growlers up from the, um, the little corner store he was living above. And he would be drinking them and you know, it didn't really interest me, but that's when I started really thinking about the word craft beer, like he started saying that. And you know, Scale's always on some new shit. He's always trying to get people to do some shit that, you know, whatever, man. Join this new app, or this new whatever the hell he'd be doing for the week. This is the engine. This is what makes it all go. Nothing works in here without this. This is, um, you know the machine I had in the garage? Yeah. This is a bigger version of it. It's small, but it's still big for what we used to. It's the brew house is what we call it. We make the beer right here, then we bring it over and put it in one of these. This is where the beer sleeps at for like two weeks. Three weeks, actually. And, um, it just stays in these tanks. It took years for me to really be like, okay, let me really listen to what he's saying and figure this shit out with him because he's really adamant about this shit. And once we started going to breweries when we were on tour and I started looking at it from the actual business side of it and, you know, breaking it down for the machine, machinery and equipment needed. And it was, to me at one point, unobtainable because the systems were so huge. You know, you had these big ass 20 barrel systems and 50 barrel systems and it's like, man, yeah, all right. Like, I'm not even gonna waste my time entertaining that side of we can, you know, make beer, like. This is the step, like this is very historic around here. Um, 
All of this is owned by the Russell family. It was like, historically, they started in construction and um, they just bought all this stuff. Black family. This is black history right here. Castleberry Hills. Mercedes Benz. Um, Y'all, the Russells had the, a restaurant somewhere? Yup, Pascal's. You know about that? Yeah. I heard of it, but I never know the name of it. Pascal's, like Martin Luther King and all the civil rights leaders, that's where they would eat when they were strategizing and stuff. Like they would go there and put together the plan for um, moving forward. What kind of restaurant is it? Like that? Soul food. Soul food. And uh, you can just see it, man. All of this. Atlanta's really like Wakanda for real. It's a great place for uh, black people to get their piece of the American pie. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's very welcoming. It's very, very peaceful. Yeah. It's still a city. It's still a major city. As far as Nappy Roots, man, we Nappy Roots for life. Uh, that's what got us here. Um, that's what's going to keep us here. That's always the background of whatever we do. Uh, Nappy Roots, again, we wouldn't be in Atlanta if it wasn't from the brand, Nappy Roots brand. So we always do that. And plus, we still love making music. We still love hanging out together as a group. You know, we're brothers. We're beyond friends with brothers. So Nappy Roots is something we'll never stop doing. You know, in some capacity, we will always push that brand forward. And um, once we can get back on the road, we'll start back doing shows. It's just not as many as we used to do. You know, we're getting older. We want to put on other artists, help them get out on the road and, and see what the, the hip hop life is about, the tour life. So, and we just put out an album September 25th, the 40, 40 project. And it's doing really well for us. We shot about five videos off of that. And it's, and, and it's being received very well. So we look forward to doing another project eventually. And the upcoming 20 year reunion of the Watermelon Chicken and Grits is coming up in 2022. So it'll be some interesting times in that room. Country shit, back road, back road, country shit, country shit, rolling dope, rolling dope, bunch of shit, bunch of shit, granny house, granny house, dirty D, dirty D, gold teeth, gold teeth, bare feet. Oh. Where I, go, where I go, you never know. Never know. A country road, country road. you never go. Never go. Twenty fold, twenty fold. Country shit, country shit. Cause all we know, all we know is country shit.